Does Love to Fight is a social fraternity for gay, bisexual, trans, and progressive men. I have a chapter here at Rutgers, um, and it's a functioning chapter as well here. Delta Lambda Phi is also a family. When I first joined DLP, um, I didn't have really a general idea of what a gay man was. Um, coming from a Filipino background, I'm, I've been exposed to uh, Filipino gay men in popular culture who are very like, effeminate, very um, sometimes kind of mean, um, make fun of other people. And that's why I was totally scared of what um, gay men might be, because I was scared that they would be mean and that they would be judgmental. Um, I remember the day that I went to go uh, meet the brothers at the Malvern Fair, I was scared of what I looked like, of like how I was going to present myself and how I was going to talk and you know. Um, and so like my idea of what a gay man was at that time was someone who was effeminate, who was, um, who was um, really loud and can be really mean sometimes, make fun of other people. Dells and Defy really does embody like diversity um, because I feel when you know when a stereo a stereotypical I don't know person might think of the word gay or gay people they like have this like idea in their head about like what we're like but I think in reality we're really different. An honor student at Morgan State University files a complaint after he says he was kept out of a national fraternity because he is gay. Trouble began after an openly gay student says he was kicked out of a Christian fraternity last year. The University of Texas is looking into accusations tonight from a student that he was denied entry into a fraternity because he's gay. One of the key differences between Delta Lambda Phi and other fraternities is the way we accept people for who they are and the way we are always welcoming new people and new perspectives and different. Whereas I think a lot of fraternities have this sort of stock image of the man that they're looking for. It's almost even like a bit untraditional from what you would expect from a fraternity. Like we have a lot of more, we have, it's pretty split between like the amount of like introverted brothers, we have extroverted brothers. And uh, I don't know if that happens as a result of the size because it is like a smaller fraternity. So you, we also get some of the more like quieter people. Um, but it works out so that it's really like nice and balanced. There's not too much of like a dominant uh, personality. It turns out to be like a very diverse group. And I think that's what I like about it. So. We do like a lot of different brotherhood activities and part of it is during like initiation, induction, um, and just ra even like random meetings. And I feel like through those activities, you get to understand yourself better. Touch someone who activity, what happens is all the brothers stand in the circle facing out with their eyes closed. A few people come into the circle and the person who's leading the activity reads a statement. Tap someone who has helped you learn something new about yourself. Tap someone who you think is motivated to succeed. It's just, it's really cool because you don't know it's anonymous, so um, you don't know who's touching you, and you also, because of the nature of the activity, like there's no way for you to respond, so you can't thank them. After that activity, we always bring everyone in and we talk about how it made us feel. And that's always the most interesting part of the activity because everyone gets something different out of it. This is actually one of my favorite activities because like a lot of times if we don't, like kind of like Steve said, we don't see sort of like, we don't see ourselves the way other people see us. So I decided to get involved at the Beta Sigma chapter um, 
because at the time, which was the beginning of my sophomore year, um, I was coming into forming my identity as a gay man. Um, so I figured that maybe joining the fraternity for predominantly gay men and progressive men um, would probably help me sort of jump into the LGBT community. Um, and I wanted DLP to be sort of my fulcrum to jump into that as well. So I wanted to do community service, I wanted to get more friends uh, who I identify as queer, and I figured that Theta Sigma would be able to do that for me. I want to see this guy fall. I first heard of Delta and Defy my first semester when I was a freshman. Um, I saw them at an involvement fair and they said that they were interested in me, but at the time, Rucker says that first semester freshmen can't join, so I waited until my second semester. Uh, I wanted to meet more gay people and be more proactive, so I decided to rush. You may remember the crushing story of Rutgers freshman Tyler Clementi who committed suicide after a video of his gay encounter humiliated him. Well, now his roommate has been charged with a hate crime. When Rutgers freshman Tyler Clementi jumped off the George Washington Bridge, he became a symbol of the dark potential of bullying in America. Rutgers University holding a series of events this weekend to honor Tyler Clementi, the freshman who killed himself after video of his sexual encounter with another man was put on the internet. His death is one of several recent suicides that are being blamed on anti-gay bullying. So, um... Tyler Clementi's suicide happened my freshman year. Um, Tyler Clementi was part of my freshman class. Um, and so it had happened, um, I believe, two or three weeks into our first semester here at Rutgers. Um, and I would say it was a very dark way to, um, to start off our undergraduate career, or my undergraduate, undergraduate career. Um, you know, I could say like around that time, um, it was very dark and sullen around the, in on the camp on campus. Like you could feel like an air of heaviness when you walked around. You you could feel that um, people were taken aback. That people were um, withdrawing because it was such a it was such a controversial issue. Because of Tyler Clementi, that's why I decided to join Delta Lambda Phi because I felt if I wasn't visible, then no one would know I was here or I existed. And no one could even come up to me and ask me, like, what's it like to be a gay man? DLP is definitely an excellent place for young queer men to figure out who they are and what they believe in, in a very supportive environment. Um, it's led to some problems before with brothers who were not yet out, particularly their parents, because a quick Google search of DLP will reveal immediately what we are and what we're about. So parents are going to think. I would say it's important to have something like Delta Lambda Phi on campus just so that you have that outlet that people can go to. Um, different people will have different, you know, things going on in their lives. And I feel like having something like Delta Lambda Phi can really help some people. What we're trying to show this new member and remind um, already initiated brothers is that the fraternity as a whole is there for you to rely on and to catch you if you're falling and to build you up and to bring you to a better place. So it's a symbolic thing, but it's also a literal falling and you're trusting that your brothers are going to catch you. Spot is ready. ready. Falling. 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 Fall away. Falling. Fall away. Falling. Fall away. Falling. Fall away. Falling. Falling. Fall away. Falling. Fall away. Yay. That was fun. Can we do it again? 
I think that when people hear like gay fraternity, they get a certain thought or image in their head of what it's like. They might expect it to be like, um, just based off of stereotypes, they might expect it to be a very like sexually charged or like based on like, um, like maybe like brothers like hooking up and like stuff like that. Misconceptions about DLP. Well, we're a fuck club. I've heard that one a few times that we just have these big gay orgies, um, which is definitely the biggest one. Um, and that's not true at all. Yesterday I went shopping and I got there. No, no apples in the ground are rotting and no, they don't. They're gonna be made into cider. This one was on the ground and looks perfectly fine. Yeah, it's gonna be made into cider. As far as experiences, Beta Sigma's really, really good at brother bonding. We're really good at doing things together as a group that we all enjoy, um, even if it's very, very simple things. Uh, so, for instance, last fall we went apple picking together. It was a lot of fun. We just spent a day at a farm walking around, even though we didn't pick a lot of apples. Um, we, you know, walked around, we did a wine tasting together. Um, you know, and it, it was just hanging out, enjoying the fall, enjoying each other's company. That's a lot of fun. Ha! Oh, you're giving me an apple? You want to hold it? <laughs> I don't want a bag, I just want to eat this. Thank you, though. You know, if you've ever been in a fraternity or sorority, you've had those moments where you're with all your brothers and sisters. Um, for Lambda Men, my experience with that has been that we'll be in an entire room and then all of a sudden we're going to be doing an activity. Um, and it sort of like brings us closer together because we start sharing very private moments and very intimate um, times of our lives with each other. <laughs> um. So we put, how do we, we just put our hands in? Put right hand in. <laughs> the human knot activity symbolizes interconnectedness because everyone is holding hands across the circle. So you, everyone stands in a circle and they grasp the right hand of someone across the circle from them. And then the left hand of someone else who's across the circle from them and it forms a knot. And the new members without speaking have to untangle the knot. Yeah. Who's our new Oh, silence. <laughs> and now we start. Stop. Okay. So. <laughs> I so thought they were allowed to talk. No yeah. Allowed to talk. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you do one thing and then you realize, oh no, that didn't help. It actually made the human not worse. And um, so it's. It's challenging, but typically um, throughout the activity, even the brothers start to become more cooperative. My time in the fraternity like overlapped also with um, part of my like coming out process. So I feel like in that sense it was not only like a support system, but it also helped me like feel more confident in my decision. And um, if I had like doubts or if I was unsure, like I knew that I had the fraternity where my brothers would were like there to talk to me about anything that like I might want to talk about. And also like it just I felt like it made me more sure of what I was doing and what I was saying, and um, especially in terms of like my family and stuff, um, I felt like Delta Lambda Phi definitely helped me like grow in that sense. I know I'm not the same person that I was three years ago. Uh, I was a very shy person, uh, really quiet, um, not as confident, so to say. Um, but I think now I've definitely like. With the love and support of like my brothers, I've like gotten more confident. In many ways, my own family is a bit of a letdown. Um, so Delta Lambda Phi gives me people who are always going to be there for me and are always going to pick me up and are always going to take me as I am. And my family hasn't always done that. So the the bonds I'm creating in DLP are that sort of very strong bond of someone I can always rely on.
The Beta Sigma chapter has helped me a lot. And then, and also, I've had a lot of fun with the Beta Sigma chapter. I mean, there have been some crazy moments um, throughout the years. Some of the crazy bad, some of the crazy good, but I've come up with a lot of stories, and I'm glad that I joined the chapter because I, my college experience would be completely different if I joined the Beta Sigma. I probably would have just stayed in my dorm room, just like studying all the time. I mean, like, granted, I probably would have better grades. Um, and I can't really thank Beta Sigma Chapter for giving me um, straight A's, but I can't thank Beta Sigma Chapter for making my experience in college incredibly fulfilling um, and building me up to be a better person, to be able to stand in front of this camera and talk about my experiences without fumbling on my words, for the most part, I guess. Um, so yeah, just I guess my last comment is I want to thank the Beta Sigma Chapter. Thank you.